Hello, my name is Emma and I'm currently a final year medical student at the University of Leicester. During my medical research degree last year, I undertook this psychology-based project, which investigated the effects of age and type 2 diabetes on attention in the middle-aged to old adult population. So firstly, when examining previous literature surrounding this topic, I found a clear lack of research that used chronological age to assess age effects on attention. And this was specifically in the middle-aged population, which is often neglected when assessing age effects. Furthermore, we know that general cognitive decline is a recognised complication of type 2 diabetes. However, the studies that are focused on attention-specific changes within this patient group have often produced inconsistent findings. Therefore, myself and my research team set out to answer three main research objectives. One, does age have a significant effect on attention? Two, does diabetes have a significant effect on attention? And three, where we also wanted to assess the feasibility of conducting the well-used attention network test by a remote platform, as opposed to its usual conduction in a laboratory or under controlled environments. We recruited 104 participants between the ages of 50 and 75 years and asked each participant to complete 96 trials of their attention network test. From the AMT, we aim to measure the average response times under different conditions. So not only did we measure the effects of age and diabetes on the overall response times, but we also wanted to measure the effects of the type of cue that was used and the congruency of the flanker arrows, which will help us to assess the feasibility of conducting this test online. Moving on to the results and first of all, examining the effects of age. So we did find that age had a significant effect on response times and therefore attention. This can be seen closer when looking at this diagram, which demonstrates that as people get older, they generally take longer to respond to an average ANT trial, which will therefore suggest a decrease in attention. On the other hand, we didn't find that type 2 diabetes had a significant effect on response times and therefore attention. This differs from the results of a similar previous study that used a hospitalised cohort of patients with diabetes, whereas our study used a community sample of type 2 diabetics, which probably have milder forms of the condition. I believe this poses a question for further research of actually, does the severity of diabetes have a significant impact on attentional changes? These graphs also highlight the type of cue that was used and the congruency of flanker arrows. And both of these had a largely significant effect on the overall response times. In essence, this provides strong evidence for the remote feasibility of the attention network test, which is a really positive finding for psychological practice moving forward. So to summarise, this study has shown that increasing age within the middle aged to older adult population resulted in a decrease in attention. However, when we used a community sample of type 2 diabetics, a uh, significant change in attention was not elicited in the diabetic group. Thank you very much for listening.